Hey guys, I'm gonna turn around because I want you guys to see the sky behind me. Like, you see the brilliant blue. <laughs> you see the brilliant blue, and then you see all these gray clouds. I love thunderstorms. I love thunderstorms. So Wyatt is at VBS, and Matt just let the goats out with Lily. And my chickens are loose, so hopefully she doesn't go over there and bother chickens. But I think we're going to probably move the goats here pretty quick. Not sure where, but we can't dump their water because our water's currently off for the entire area. No idea why. Come here, Lily. Come on. Lily. But. Yeah, guys. Sorry guys, the wind is really picked up, but I was going to show you, we've got most of the fence moved. Matt's stringing it out right now. There's Hey Hey. Um, and these six nannies are just loose until we get it all up, but we'll get it done. I have brought me a plastic bag to cover my camera with. Let's see. He's on the other side of those clump of trees, but this is a nice little spout of pasture. And we were wanting to clear out around these trees anyway. Better just let the goats eat it. Well, we got the goats moved without a whole lot of fanfare. It's actually the next day, but that's because I thought it was going to rain, so I put my camera up. Rather not ruin that. But Matt's fixing some fence over here. We left this small pin up that's electric wire for the, that we had the calves in, and now they're out in the pasture in electric wire. He's going to take Wyatt's pony and the little pony and put them out here. I don't know what he's barking up, but it sounds pretty good. But I was going to bring this out here so you guys could see the goat fence. Um, it's actually in a pretty good spot for people to get to see kind of how it works. It's up here by the house and yeah. Dolly still gets out of it, but that's okay also. And of course, there's my happy Lily. Uh, but it works pretty good for us. I'll walk over there by it so you can get an idea of how tall it is. I am five foot nine. And it comes up about right here on me. I recently purchased a product through the internet. It's called Block Jaws, and it is a T-post clip that can go literally any direction on a T-post. And I'm going to start installing them maybe this evening on the T-posts in the pen where the calves are. I had originally bought them when we bought our sheep because I was planning on grazing the sheep out there before I could have my goat fence. But I'm thinking, and I don't know if Matt agrees with me or not on that, but. If we run two strands of hot wire in between the barbed wire, I think our goats might be, might stay in it. Because the charger we have on that particular fence is a very, very hot one. And what is it? Is it a 20 mile? Yeah. It's a 10 mile? It's a hot one. So, and that's no bigger than that pin is. I think it would work just fine. All right, so we're going on day three. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna do this in this video but I'm gonna show you guys what they are. I bought these, these are the lock jaws I was talking about to put on my T-post and they literally can go like any direction on a T-post. And I got a box of, I don't remember how many. Uh, 250 for 90 bucks, so that's not bad. And I should be able to go all the way around what I need to behind the house with them. I, was, I bought them when we bought sheep because we were going to put the sheep out there on that pasture. Plans changed. I sold the sheep. And I'm going to still use them because I think if we had two rows of electric fence in between, like one under and one over that last, that bottom strand of barbed wire, they'd be okay. And of course we got to fix some barbed wire. But instead of doing that today, I'm going to come into the garden and we're gonna weed this sucker. <laughs> I laid down some cardboard in one bed to try and see what it would do, but I'm not sure on that. 
we'll see. Uh, I gotta water everything, and my poor little micro tom tomatoes, I think, are done. Because they're all, all the leaves have fallen off of them now. So, let's set this up and we'll get started. It's hot. I'm sweating up a storm. Just set those two balls in the well, in that basket, Wyatt. Got some stuff picked. Got some stuff cleaned up. But Hey Hey is not happy, and he's sweaty. So we're gonna go in the house. I'm gonna let him play in the bathtub after brother takes a shower because brother's gotten to something that's making him really itchy. And we'll probably try and finish this up. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already, please do. Thumbs up or appreciated comments, likes, everything. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon. God bless.